I will have to get back to that later. Oh, let me turn down my volume a bit. And... Going in for the story. I... Okay, so... Three of story, missions, and side stories. Bingo battle is completely co-op stuff, so... Side stories might be on stream. Missions will probably be something I do in between streams on my own. But story for sure, all on stream. And we got one. And apparently I picked the controller that's dying. Ugh. Where's the controller that's not dying? Ah, whatever, I'll deal with it once it... Uh, difficulty selection. It's goose. Normal, hard, ultra spicy. We're going normal. <laughs> Galactic date, 20XX. At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. Okay. The planet's name, Kopai. Due to Kopai? a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic lack of planning, Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Just as they're about to give up, the final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilized to investigate the planet, which they named PNF-404. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. Okay, so that's not Earth. This is Earth? At last, the explorer's 279,000 light-year voyage nears its end. But, as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. Oh no. How did Olimar and Louie survive landing? Exploration Day 1. 8.44 a.m. Charlie's Crescent. <gasps> Babies! Yellows? So early? Where am I? The last thing I remember was... Oh, of course! This must be PNF 404. I like that it's PNF 404, because it's like Arrow 404. <laughs> uh, Charlie the ship, Charlie the ship, do you copy? This is your captain, I repeat, do you copy? Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew! I managed to escape on escape, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on the uh, PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I only hope they survived. If you get stuck in story mode, press up to view a strategy hint. You can... Hide them by going to more option settings, please. Okay. I can't move the camera. I don't... Do I have to unlock moving camera? Huh? What in the... There are more of them. A lot more of them. 
when I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? I'm surrounded. Maybe I should throw them. Uh, why can't I move the camera? Hi, Dart. I assumed you enjoyed the uh, dead space suffering too, so. Well, you know Pikmin more. <laughs> Uh, they don't appear hostile, so let me get this straight. Uh, I can round up these creatures by pointing them at them, pressing B, throwing them with A. Ah, tutorial. I remember this much. When can I freely move the camera? This is a little bit more like Bloom. The stagnant camera has me annoyed. Yeah, this is definitely a lot more like phone app, because that's exactly what they do, is just bang their head on mushrooms. Oh, hi! More children! I'm so happy I'm getting yellow first. That's ZL. Oh! Wait. Oh no, that just kind of reset. All the mushrooms. These guys sure are dedicated. I'm excuse. Why are those? They look dangerous. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I might have gotten Charlie killed. Exploration day 1046 to him. I'll scratch sight. Okay. I'm guessing Elf is getting blues. Oh, there's Chip. Or was the ship? Uh oh. It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and made an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two teammates as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineers have to meet Alf to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. That does feel more of the captain's job, but sure. Oh, you're actually gonna get red! Come back, baby! What was that? Come back! Child, please! It appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. Do the onions get an upgrade? What's that stuck in the branch? Oh, lock on! Glorious lock on! I name this quality of life just because 
Not only is this... I realize Pikmin 3 came out on the Wii U. Which... 2 was GameCube. So it skipped the entire Wii generation to come out on 3. Me with the Wii U. And this is the deluxe version, so it should even have a little bit more improvement. Nevertheless, the Ray and Philo seem quite pleased now that it's freed. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing... They will look around with R. Face forward with ZL and look around with R. R won't work if the Joy-Con is held sideways. Huh? Hey, they're following me. What are they doing? <gasps> oh, bridge pieces. Oh. Will you take the piece? Okay. Can I reach you? Okay, that's one more. Ooh, full map? Great, it still works. Of course, I expect nothing less from Copite Engineering. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the co op of screen. I just realized I'm playing as another engineer. <laughs> On an alien planet. Whose ship crashed. <laughs> uh, maybe the other two members were there as well. I'd best head back in that direction. I'd say with two other crew members, but there were technically like four of them. <laughs> before everyone died in dead space. Now we can start exploring with the help of the Copa and use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. Z, wait, Z, ZR lock on. Okay. Wait. Wait, this lock on's a little finicky. Oh no. Um. Oh, only 20. Okay. I figured throwing 21 would be a little bit extra help. Uh, what's that? Looks like someone left a data file here. Perhaps the copad will be able to read it. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It gives both birth to them and provides them with shelter. Excellent. The copad can read the data file, so these creatures are called Pikmin. This information might come in handy later. I'll save it in the copad's exploration notes. Okay. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file, so who did? Could there be another other intelligent life forms on this planet? You mean besides the Pikmin? According to radar, the Drake should be through here. Another data file? Uh, using radar number two, change the radar's orientation in the other setting. In other settings in the options menu. Uh, da, 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 other not control guide options menu. Radar, travel direction. Fix north. I prefer. Okay. 
Breaking walls down? <laughs> Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life. Now being a time of war and the X charge attack. Ah, okay. Charge! Oh, that's a little more straightforward. Almost literally. Charge seems so much nicer than the pushing them in a direction because they have to go around you. Recharge immediately sends them forward. There it is, the SS Drake. The file up line thing. The copad isn't picking up any signs of life in this immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? Incoming transmission, who could it be? Elf! It's me, Brittany. Do you copy? Thank goodness. You're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starved. Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. Or at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. What's that strange sound? The sun is setting, what? Which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get uh, off the planet's surface for now. Hey, children? Where did you go? Did you already run back to your onion? I hope so. There's some palm trees? Most of the supplies we brought with us from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing. Now we only have three days worth of edible provisions! Uh oh. Is there a clock now again? <laughs> Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. A loose clock, okay. Review the replay with... Uh, to fine-tune your strategy. So it's basically if you ignore it, you'll be screwed later. Or you'll hit kind of a thing where you're immediately gonna need to rush for it. Though unlikely that you're gonna ignore it if you're actually completing things. Oh, uh, we're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin held to find on the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany, and we'll set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Exploration day two. Oh, this is a fancy ass ship. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Garden of Hope. I've tracked Brittany's signal. Right now, finding her is my highest priority. However, I'm also very concerned that our cosmic drive key is now missing. If I don't find that, the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Kopai. 
That would be very, very bad. Okay, so that's where we were. This is where we want to go. Garden of Hope, where's Brittany? Juice is left for two. Brittany should be around here. Something is flashing on my map. Maybe it's her. At one specific point. Money out of substance, so I hope I find her before it's too late. Looks like the onion has followed me here, so where are the Pikmin? Ah, uh, I, I think I see how they might all be in one now. Oh, that's right. The data file I found explained all this. The onion is the Pikmin's nest. I'm going to install an application on the Kobe to let me check the Pikmin status remotely. I see there's the a beast thing up there too. Oh, wait a sec. Um, wait. This? That's not the button. This one. Uh, so I'm assuming that's the signal. That looks like we'd have to cross water though. Oh, maybe we can build a bridge there? Okay. Um, ooh, file, aim for the back, aim for his back, and for victory. It's gonna be so much easier having a lock on, not that lock on. The rest of you work on taking parts. Oh, there's a file here, too. Press and release X to charge with the currently selected Pikmin. Okay, you cannot throw that high. the whistle for all them to pop out. Even when I forgot about it. Ah, got it when I landed. A flower bloomed on that Pikmin's head. It's amazing how many plant-like qualities they possess. I wonder if they develop any skills from the flower. I'll have to keep a close eye on them. All the nectar. Uh, once back in our yeah, Pikmin are done transporting fragments, they will return to the original location of the fragments. Unless I whistle at them before they get there. Wait, 
Paste also does remind me. Apparently, I forgot about this. Also went back. Um, please. Can y'all not break glass? Okay. Throw a specific type to break that. Uh, I'm about to go get my other controller. Shh, it's a sneak. I think we can sneak up on it. Try from behind to gain the advantage. Do we have to, though? Grant, I guess we can. Um, since the game is technically telling us to. Another note. When going and gets tough, retreat into a hiding place and wait for an opportunity. I already know that's electrical fence. You do take that back. Oh no! Brittany's just lying there! I hope I'm not too late. Pick up, Brittany! Pick up! Please still be alive! Elf! Sorry about that, I was just taking a little nap. So you're close by? Why wasn't I moving, you ask? <laughs> well, you know me, I'm pretty sound sleeper, even with all the creatures creeping around. But never mind that. Listen, I discovered what looks like a piece of fruit over here. But I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Could you go and check it out for me? Piece of fruit. <gasps> Is strawberry a strawberry? Well, it's even bigger than I thought it would be. If this giant thing really is fruit, then we've hit the jackpot. I like to analyze it at the Drake, but how do I get it there? I know how. This thing would be worth... I want to say it was like 30 poke -ups. Red Pikmin are good fighters. Some of this information's a little... odd. Or rather... Very simplified. Drake is sending us a message. Analyzing recovery. Analysis complete. Sunseed berry. Large quantities of pick temin you detected. Is this seed bearing fruit, making cultivation on Kopai possible? Juice from this fruit is safe for consumption by crew members. I'll add a fruit file to the Kopad where we can store the results of our analysis. So the gold also gets seeds to then take back to the planet. But since I don't know much about plants, I'll ask Brittany to write the report. Or she is the botanist after all. Okay, I have all 47 with me. But can I even get anywhere else? 
looked like there was a cave to go through. It was... Oh, looks like there might be another berry over there. That was a glass wall. That's an electrical wall, but there's a hole there to maybe go through. Because I can't break glass down yet. So maybe go this way? Oh, some gemstones? It's not looking like it's doing much. That also seems like it might require some rock pigment. Oh! What is that thing? Uh oh. To defeat the flying picture through. Jellyfish? Pikmin too? They're giving me a funny look. George! George! <laughs> So their onion was trapped inside that crystal. So I have two types of pigment I can select with L and R. And when I want to split them up by type, I'll use Y to dismiss the squad. hard like rocks. Uh, throw. Sprouts will be the same color as the pigment that retrieves a pellet or creature. So still the same as last game. Let's go break some glass. I thought about this one too, but I guess it's the same for... Hey, we added a new Pikmin type. Pikmin 3. Get to play with it early. I could have had them charged, but I also wanted to throw rocks. Phew. I can't tell 
you how happy I am to get out of this place. I'm sick of sleeping outside. And I'm super hungry. Huh? What's with your entourage there? What's that you say? They're called Pikmin. They're cute. But you don't have time for cuteness right now. Look over there, Alfie. <gasps> A lemon. Lemon. Let's work together and nab that huge piece of fruit. Okay. Throw me. Where are you aiming? Am I throwing Brittany? Oh, okay. I'll take it from here. Press Y and select me if you'd be so kind. Okay, so kind of the Louie situation, but with someone less annoying. Micromanaging purgatory? What about- there were so many other micromanaging atrocities and not all the other ones. And the copa radar align with whatever that is. Go with your destination and select go here. I'm not sure you find I'm such a data file. Come to think of it, the radar did have a go here feature. We should try it out soon. This might get me help inside. I just split up, up into multiple squads. Oh, actually, yeah. Because then I wouldn't have to manually walk over. Like, Louie or Brittany to say, hey. Go to this, like, spot thing. Let's retreat by Pikmin of the same color produce more sprouts. Eh, come here, come here. I only meant for y'all to grab the pellet. Don't be fighting the rocks right now. I should probably try to fight the rocks. Okay. Okay. And... Start building the bridge. Because the bridge, I think, will loop back. So if I... Throw Alfie. Could I tell Alfie... To... Go here? Okay, that's the one I'm con currently controlling would go. Um... Oh, 
onion stuff seeds pop, popping out. But the big ones are the onions seem to be increasing in numbers. Apparently, once the surface population reaches 100, new Pikmin are born inside the onion. That means that a maximum of 100 Pikmin can be active outside at the onion at any one time. Let me do the number of Pikmin on the surface and it's yet, uh, um, B. Oh. Separate. Oh, frogs are gonna be so much easier. As long as they're not sitting in water, I... I am saved from so much suffrage. No lobbying, it can't jump bump when it's way down with Pikmin. Uh, someone will be setting soon. Any stray people will undoubtedly face its attacks from nocturnal predators. But the Pikmin that are close to the onion should be able to make it back on their own. Make sure the Pikmin in your squad are close to the onion when the sun sets. All others will perish. I better call back the Pikmin who aren't in my squad before it's too late. But it could be tiring to walk around everywhere to collect all the Pikmin. Make sure there's an A's when you're the to the whistle so the sound will be call all Pikmin back to the onion. It's nice. Granite? Hey! Oh no! How'd you get trapped over there, sir? I have 98. Wait. <coughs> but for real, where? <laughs> Over there? Back here? Yes! Oh no! Not so soon! Not on, like, literally day two! Everyone, stay safe. In the circle. Okay, 70 red. 30 cred. Well, 70 plus red. Okay, I'm just gonna hit end day. Because I don't feel like moving around. I don't trust myself moving around right now. fascinating behavior. The onions got a serious upgrade. Different color onions can fuse into a single onion. Let's analyze the other fruit too. Face fruit color? Oh, because it's sour.
strawberry lemonade. Very nice. I'll ration out the juice. No extra gulps for anyone. It's good to build our juice supply like this. We shouldn't be alright for a little while. There's always fanciful names for fruits. And treasures. Or weird names, that is. Uh, back on board, we ran an analysis on the fruit we retrieved and found it suitable for copaic consumption. Copaic consumption. It looks like there is plenty more where that came from. Reuniting with Brindy, finding this fruit, it's still early, but things seem to be taking a turn for the better. Exploration day three. We finally discovered edible matter. After close analysis, my conclusion is that the fruit juice is delicious. I've never tasted anything like that on Kopai. We need to continue our search if there's more to be had. We should have it. Right, let's focus all of our energy on finding more fruit and absolutely nothing else. We still need the cosmic drive key. We can't get home without that. Right. Let's focus all of our energy on retrieving the fruit and the key and absolutely nothing else. The captain. We still need to find the captain as well. Right. So we'll just get the food, the key, and the captain. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? What's the signal coming from over there? I sincerely hope it's the captain. Let's hurry over there and find out. Good idea. He might be hogging all the fruit for himself. 